mindset. It's just not a concept. It's actually a discipline that you can use to our advantage in life. Technology today has taken over. Everything is getting automated. You name it. We have Siri waking our butts in the morning. We have Uber. Uber Eats taking us to our destination. I mean, we're not even driving our own cars anymore. Problem solving, trying to parallel park. Everything is getting automated. And with that said, we're actually losing focus and not able to problem solve and use our mental capacity to our advantage. Everything is getting automated, voice to text. I mean, if you ask somebody to actually write a paper cursively, do you think you can do it uh, in a fast, efficient manner? I mean, you gotta think about it as well. Our spelling capacity is, has gone overboard with texting. Everything is getting shortened and abbreviated. We are upgrading our phones 24 seven, our laptops, or computers to Windows 10 and much more, but we don't upgrade our minds to books, school, and healthy discipline. If you look at Albert Einstein, I mean, the guy is a genius. He actually used 11% of his brain power. Now, human beings can use 10% of their brain power for their day-to-day -day task and mental capacity. But just imagine if you can actually gain 11%, use 11%. I mean, think about all the things you can actually accomplish in life. Anything you wanna bring or innovate or change history in a better format. I mean, it'll be miraculous. And think how productive you'll be on your day-to-day -day basis at work, inventing things, making things. You just imagine what you can actually bring to the table. Now, I wanna give you a story of what mental mindset really means. And this story takes place in the 1930s in East India, Bombay. So at that particular time, it was the British rule and British pretty much owned a lot of the companies and railroads and trains and much more. So the story takes place in a poor area in Mumbai. And what happens is Sadhu hops on a train and sits down and start meditating. And you know, he's dressed in his white robes, not the traditional American, British clothes or Indian clothes. So he sits down and does his meditation and the conductor is going around each row picking up tickets. And obviously the sadhu is not really paying attention to this person asking for his ticket. And he goes up and asks him ticket, tickets. And eventually he, he doesn't really participate in his questioning. Anywho, what, what, what happens is the conductor pretty much tells the captain about the situation and he's definitely not happy about it and he sees him in a stern attire, not dressed well and this is pretty much a rich type of tra train with a lot of British businessmen and much more. So he pretty much kicks this sadhu out. Even though he has a ticket, he shows him that he has a ticket he purchased. He's not getting, getting there on a free ride. So eventually, he kicks him out and he's on the, the pavement outside, just sitting sad and not too content because he wants to obviously go and see his family and much more. And what happens is the conductor starts the engine of the train and it's so miraculous because the train does not start. He, he figures, what is the situation? He, he gets the engineer, he looks at the engine and see if anything is, if everything's working properly. And obviously the engine is working, everything has the right oil and everything is sufficient. And he just scratches his head and ponders, why is this engine not turning on? And everybody inside the train, all the passengers are like yelling their top of the lungs, like saying, let the guy in, let the sadhu in. He, let, let's see what we can do with this and eventually everybody chants to get him in. So eventually the conductor puts him back in the train and he sits down and you wouldn't believe what happened next. The, the engine actually started, the train actually moved. Just imagine this sadhu with his mental mindset what he can actually do for his own advantage. I mean he was kicked out for no reason and obviously he had some mind power, power to stop this from happening. And just think about what you could do with your mindset, your mental powers. And this is some of the few things I've been doing actually to increase my mental capacity. And it's been helpful, I gotta say, I'm more proactive, I'm able to problem solve and take things to my advantage. For one, I've downloaded this app called Numosity. It's 
things on the computer and also on your phones. And I've been doing a lot of research and uh, problem solving on it. A lot of math problems, a lot of puzzles that deals with memory and much more. They're, these games are really short, they're like two minutes long and it is definitely going to increase your problem solving mindset capacity. The other app I want to talk to you about is QuizUp. It's a trivia game, it's also on your phones, Android and Apple as well. And the cool thing about it is there's so many genres to choose from, computers to medical to history to cars, you name it. Anything you're interested in and want to catch up and, and challenge people from around the world. And by doing this, I'm staying more in touch with technology. I'm also increasing my mental capacity. It's almost like going to school, but in a, in a fun manner. And I think those two can help you as well, quick and easy to increase your mental mindset. The other thing I, I recently did was remove Facebook app on my phone. I was getting distracted going in there and looking at people's life for no reasons. Because let's, let's face it, it's definitely a waste of time and you're not getting things done. And, you, you gotta be more proactive in life. And as far as the GPS is concerned, I've been trying to restrain the GPS. I've been going on MapQuest and looking at my destination and just just using it to my advantage and finding out where the area is, just using problem solving to find out exactly how to get to my destination. And with that said, I'm, I'm getting a little bit more brighter, I'm getting more stronger on my feet and I, I can say I'm not at that 11% um, brain power that I'm looking to be, but eventually it might happen. Well, this is pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for watching my show, Inspire Your Mind. And until then, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace.